tenders and turntables. The big stations at both ends of the line each have a turntable. The fat controller had them made so that Edward, Henry, Gordon and James can be turned round. It is dangerous for tender engines to go fast backwards. Tank engines like Thomas don't need turntables. They can go just as well backwards as forwards. But if you had heard Gordon talking a short while ago, you would have thought that the fat controller had given him a tender just to show how important he was. You don't understand, little Thomas, said Gordon. We tender engines have a position to keep up. You haven't a tender, and that makes a difference. It doesn't matter where you go, but we are important. And for the fat controller to make us shunt trucks, fetch coaches, and go on some of those dirty sidings, it's... it's... well, it's not the proper thing. And Gordon puffed away in a dignified manner. Thomas chuckled and went off with Annie and Clarabel. Arrived at the terminus, Gordon waited till all the passengers had got out. Then... Groaning and grumbling, he shunted the coaches to another platform. Disgraceful! Disgraceful! he hissed as he ran backwards to the turntable. The turntable was in a windy place close to the sea. It was only just big enough for Gordon, and if he was not on it just right, he put it out of balance and made it difficult to turn. Today, Gordon was in a bad temper, and the wind was blowing fiercely. His driver tried to make him stop in the right place. Backwards and forwards they went, but Gordon wasn't trying. At last, Gordon's driver gave it up. The fireman tried to turn the handle, but Gordon's weight and the strong wind prevented him. The driver, some plate layers, and the firemen all tried together. It's no good, they said at last, mopping their faces. Your tender upsets the balance. If you were a nice tank engine, you'd be all right. Now, you have to pull the next train backwards. Gordon came to the platform. Some little boys shouted, Come on, quick, there's a new tank engine. What a swizz, they said when they came near. It's only Gordon back to front. Gordon hissed emotionally. He puffed to the junction. Hello, called Thomas, playing tank engines, sensible engine. Take my advice, scrap your tender and have a nice bunker instead. Gordon snorted, but didn't answer. Even James laughed when he saw him. Take care, hissed Gordon. You might stick too. No fear, chuckled James. I'm not so fat as you. I mustn't stick, thought James anxiously as he ran to the turntable later. He stopped on just the right place to balance the table. It could now swing easily. His fireman turned the handle. James turned much too easily. The wind puffed him round like a top. He couldn't stop. At last the wind died down and James stopped turning, but not before Gordon, who had been turned on the loop line, had seen him. Well, well, he said. Are you playing roundabouts? Poor James, feeling quite giddy, rolled off to the shed without a word. That night, the three engines had an indignation meeting. It's shameful to treat tender engines like this, 
Henry gets hooshed by elephants, Gordon has to go backwards and people think he's a tank engine, James spins around like a top and everyone laughs at us. And added to that, the fat controller makes a shunt in dirty sidings. Yuck, said all three engines together. Listen, said Gordon. He whispered something to the others. We'll do it tomorrow. The fat controller will look silly.